This second episode is brought to you by Vitamin.sg. Vitamin.sg is owned and managed by St. Hall NutriHealth Private Limited, a leader in the health and wellness business since 1990. Hi, welcome once again to this uh, fifth episode of Women's Self Care Series. We are so honored today to be in the show, to have in the show our special guest all the way from the UK. She is an empowerment and leadership coach in Sky, at Sky High Coaching. Her passion for helping people and creating transformational change in their lives has, proven, has been proven by many. She's got a new course coming out called Build Self-Confidence Overcome Imposter Syndrome. Let's all hear more about it from Nari herself. Hi, Nari. Hi everyone, uh, thank you for having me and it's an absolute pleasure to be here and speak to your viewers and listeners and I'm looking forward to our little chat today. <laughs> Glad you okay, uh, have some time for us today. Okay, uh, Louis, diving into our questions, uh, would you tell us more about yourself and how you've gotten into this um, being an empowerment coach? Absolutely, yeah. Um, it's definitely been a, a long journey to get here, to be honest. Um, really, I've come from the corporate world. In Actually, uh, I've been working in large blue chip organisations for the last almost 20 years. And um, there was always something that I felt was missing. I was always really good at working with people, at support, supporting people, um, at helping people develop themselves. And I also always had an interest in psychology and in human behavior. So I've always had a good intuition and I'm able to see things uh, quickly. So um, as I was getting up the corporate ladder, you know, traveling the world, in the boardrooms, in a senior high level meetings, I always had this niggly feeling that there's something else that I want to do. Actually, what I really want to do is connect with people on a more authentic level and support mm -hmm. them to help to develop. Um, and I also noticed that there's so many people who are so qualified, so educated, um, so many accomplishments, but then they're lacking these interpersonal skills. They're lacking the self-esteem and the confidence. They're lacking that self-belief in themselves, um, taking themselves seriously, prioritizing themselves, these sorts of things. And um, I, I, I saw this gap that I thought, you know, I really want to help to work mm -hmm. to empower people. Mm -hmm. So what I did is I actually... Um, I started uh, doing, I started reading and doing some courses on mm -hmm. like in, on um, different um, coaching modalities and healing like theta healing and mindfulness, well-being. And then I, I, became, I became a, a master life coach. So I did a couple of courses in life coaching and um, then I did a master in NLP, neuro linguistic programming. And this mm -hmm. all encompassing brought me a real good skilled toolbox to be able to work with and help people so while i had my full-time job uh, six years ago i started working with one-to-one -one clients mm -hmm. and that just slowly developed and grew and um, since the coronavirus i've been working predominantly on my coaching business mm -hmm. and now i have many one-to-one -one clients i'm running workshops i'm developing courses mm -hmm. so it's just going from strength to strength and there's definitely a market for it so i i do the the empowerment, confidence building um, for, for individuals and groups. And then I also have, I've also started a leadership um, coaching, which is for business coaching, career coaching, executive coaching, leadership coaching. So there's really two arms to what I do because there's so many skills that I've I've kind of developed over the years. And now I'm really like uh, using that uh, to help other people as well. That's very good. I mean, uh, you really, uh... Uh, aside from your corporate life, you really climbed the ladder of this, you know, coaching thing to a next level. <laughs> You're really uh, something, someone to look up to. Uh, I think this is the path that I'm looking for uh, towards to right now. And I really see you as a, you know, someone who I can like idolize in, if you could say it like that. <laughs> Oh, that's such a nice thing to say. Thank you so much. And that's what I'm there for, to help support, guide, and empower people to be mm -hmm. the best versions of themselves and to get the most out of life. Mm -hmm. Okay, going on to our next question, what does self-care mean to you? 
Yeah, big question really. Mm -hmm. Self care in a nutshell is people putting <clears throat> themselves first, putting yourself first in your own life, looking after yourself first and then being the best person to look after other people. So it's like you get when you're in an aeroplane and you put the mask on yourself before you even put it on a child. Um, <laughs> because if you're not fully self caring first, you can't actually be that best person for others either, whether that's in your job, your family life, with friendships, uh, whatever. Um, so that means setting healthy boundaries um, within yourself with, with other people and all the connections you have, which is aligned to um, caring for your needs, whatever needs they are, um, which I'm going to come on to in a minute. And basically living life on your own terms, making the right decisions for your life, for yes. what you want, where you're going, um, and then building relationships, connections and a life based on that living life on your own terms. Mm -hmm. So for this question, I'm just gonna go through a few different types of self-care, if that's okay, because yes, self-care is a very big question. Yeah. yeah, it's a very big question. So there's different types, which I'm gonna briefly touch on to help the viewers to understand what, what we're actually talking about here. So firstly, it's physical self-care, mm -hmm. physical self-care is looking after your body, looking after, you know, everything encompassing in terms of your physical realm. So this includes things like exercising, a basic element of physical self-care, mm -hmm. going for a walk, um, going to the gym, going for a swim, whatever takes your fancy. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, and also, what you eat what you eat affects like what you how you look on the outside how you feel in on the inside mm -hmm. so nutrition is a huge part of physical self-care mm -hmm. um, also sleeping making sure that you get good sleep enough mm -hmm. hours of sleep so you feel re review revived in the day yes. um and, and then other things like uh doing a soft softer sort of exercises like breath work and um and yoga as well mm -hmm. so all of these things really help to look after your physical life and physical body secondly we have the emotional element of self-care this mm -hmm. is about looking at what's going on inside how you're feeling um and, and this is about activating the vagus nerve which is very much linked to your feelings what's going inside are you feeling stressed do you have anxiety um and dealing with this really helps to um elongate your life it really helps to you know make you healthier emotionally mm -hmm. um and then we have um mental um element to self-care which is psychologically what are you doing psychologically and um, what new skills are you learning is your job satisfying you mm -hmm. um do you have enough psychological challenges do you have hobbies that help you grow mentally as a person because as human beings we are designed to evolve which means to get better uh, mm -hmm. so we need keep on challenging ourselves so we don't stay stagnant and really get bored in life to be honest yes. um yeah and everybody's needs are at different levels and that's totally fine um mm -hmm. then we have then we have practical self-care which is um setting an alarm in the morning having a to-do list uh budgeting your finances um uh, sorting out your cupboard basically so you're doing practical things which yeah. make you feel better you know when you make your bed it feels much better when you see it in the day or go back to bed at <laughs> night rather than not making your bed <laughs> um and then and then there's two more the other one next one is social this is about <laughs> your social um, connections with your friend yeah. your family community um because we're social beings we're meant to interact with people and grow together Mm -hmm. um, and finally is spiritual connection and this is about being in nature connecting to the universe having a spiritual dynamic in your life like having a religion or not necessarily a religion just being spiritual in whichever way suits you which is linked to meditation sometimes um and even yoga so spiritual is the last element of self-care and a person who fully practices self-care will have something in each of these six elements in yeah. their life to to come about as um well well-being and practicing self-care in, in an effective way really okay uh, i appreciate really appreciate you going into detail i mean actually this is one of the main reasons actually uh also why i've been into this 
self-care niche because I also saw that gap, especially for moms, because uh, now I'm focusing on moms. We're in, you know, society always tells us like, they fit, fed us with this thinking that self-care is like going to the spa and, you know, having a vacation, but it's not really like that. I mean, you can really do it daily and then eventually make it a habit, which is practically what self-care is all about. <laughs> and you can do it without even spending a dime because all you need is yourself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's beautiful. <laughs> You're absolutely right. It is so much more to it that people aren't aware of, so they're not doing it. So it's brilliant what you've just said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. Uh, so you've worked with lots of uh, tons of clients already. Would you say that one of the key reasons is uh, of them going reaching out to you for coaching is because they lack self care. It's definitely a huge element often why people uh, do seek coaching or therapy, especially in the empowerment side of my business, which is about mm -hmm. confidence building and helping people to be the best versions of themselves. Often I do find that they are lacking in one area or another of self-care, mm -hmm. which is leading because because they're not prioritizing themselves and they're not um, treating themselves with the love and respect that they deserve they are often um sacrificing in one area or another which often leads to things like burnout and overwhelm which mm. which which over time then leads to um anxiety and um you know if and often they're not practicing a uh, good or stress management and they're ignoring their feelings mm -hmm. which you're absolutely right in all the realms of self-care that we discussed in the previous question mm -hmm. often it is is a result is because they are not practicing good self-care mm -hmm. um, and often that's because they're not mentally equipped with the right mindset tools mm -hmm. and knowledge how to effectively conquer or ma uh, manage negative situations or circumstances in their lives, which is leading to them having to seek uh, some form of counseling, therapy, coaching, mentoring, some kind of guidance. So you're absolutely right. There's often a gap um, mm. in self-care um, that leads to um, needing, um, you know, to, to, to get help and to need some guidance. So yes, I would say the answer is, very much so especially on the empowerment side yeah okay uh with that being said uh is do you think that there is a right or wrong way of doing self-care yeah that's a great question mm -hmm. um and i would say no the, my simple answer to that is no because um self-care is personal so mm -hmm. there's no right or wrong self-care mm -hmm. no matter how small um, is a step in the right direction. So as long as you're doing something incrementally, progressively to improve yourself, mm -hmm. it is a step in the right direction. You don't have to be perfect and to be doing lots of things in all the six elements that I mentioned earlier. Yes. You have to do what feels right for you. Mm -hmm. um, take baby steps, grow um, slowly, but progressively, mm -hmm. um, and you're going in the right direction. And um, one thing I will mention there, there is actually something that's called... Um, a misguided self-care now this is um disruptive self-care and this is something that people don't know about what that basically is this is when people go to negative outlets as a way of escapism when i say negative outlets i say things like alcohol um mm -hmm. drugs um gaming um you oh, know it's... gambling doing things that mm -hmm. give them escape them, that make them feel better in the moment so to them it feels like self-care uh -huh. but it's because it's, it's making them feel better they think it's self-care but it's actually misguided self-care because over the long term it's not going to make them healthy and mm. confident individuals so that is the wrong way of doing self-care um, misguided self-care I just thought I'd mention that there that's very good that you mentioned it about. <laughs> it's very good to highlight this. Yeah. Okay. Does, con does the confidence feeling empowered in, their, in the life of your clients have something to do with self-care? Oops. Sorry to interrupt you watching. I promise this would be a quick one. Have you joined the giveaway already? Be one of the four lucky winners of this amazing giveaway. 
be one of the lucky winners of Stazen Pro Bio Eye. It is an innovative, broad spectrum logistic formula made of eight different strains combined with prebiotics designed for Asian customers. These eight strains have been professionally selected for its ability to adapt in Asian climate known for high temperature and humidity. Stazen Pro Bio Eye is a product of St. Hall Nutri Health Private Limited. Now, let's go back to the show. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's huge because to self-care is, well, let's just say self-belief, self-esteem and self-confidence. <laughs> free self-care. They, they make you want to care for yourself because it gives people a feeling of being in control, looking after oneself, creating a healthy work-life balance, um, healthy time management. Um, a, a, because a confident person essentially does not neglect themselves mm-hmm. um not practicing self-care effectively is actually a form of self-neglect mm-hmm. so if we look at ways of, of, of actually being confident and practicing self-care firstly taking full responsibility for your own happiness and your well-being it's nobody's um responsibility but your own to make sure you're that happy and you're looked after because it's a personal choice mm-hmm. also being assertive with others, telling people what makes you feel good and what's not acceptable. So assertiveness is very important. Thirdly, treating yourself as you would treat a friend. So yeah. if you critique your friends as much as you critique yourself, you may not have any friends left. So it's really important that how lovely and kind and you know generous and encouraging and motivating you are to your friends, mm-hmm. you need to actually practice that same level of love and treat yourself the same way. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and also willing to ask your, ask for what you want, even if you might not get it. So knowing that your voice, your opinion and your needs matter. So if you want something, ask for it. Don't shy away. And mm-hmm. number five, creating a life based on your own values and intrinsic motivation in terms of what makes you feel good, not necessarily been passed down from our families and telling us what we should do to make ourselves feel good really doing what makes us feel good as individuals first identifying who we are what what we like what makes us tick and then following those principles um and giving value to that mm-hmm. so in a nutshell com- confidence is totally and utterly aligned to self-care and these are the ways i've described uh, quickly that, that how you can actually practice that in real life it's very good. I'm very sure that our viewers have really got lots of information, good information from you, learning a lot. <laughs> okay. Um, for you, you've mentioned earlier that you've touched uh, so, uh, something about my, the mindset. So my question to you now is, which do you think is more important, self-care or having the right mindset? Yeah really important to me uh when i looked at this it's actually they're both interconnected mm-hmm. because you need to have a right mindset essentially to create the correct self-care in your life without the mindset that's mm-hmm. set as a strong robust mindset and a mm-hmm. pattern that you which dictates your habits because self-care becomes a continuous um continuum of habits that you practice in your life that becomes effective self-care in the long term so in order to do that you have the correct mindset so they are connected usually we refer to this as the growth mindset Mm -hmm. and this is is confidence empowerment motivation having an open mind all of these things lead to having a high self-esteem making Mm -hmm. yourself Good, making yourself look presentable all of these things help you to to you know practice good self-care mm-hmm. managing your your weight um your stress your exercise all of the other things that i said yes. initially that all comes from a mindset so essentially it's the mindset um mm-hmm. the, the habits that then create um long term and the reason for this is I say long term is because somebody might just think, okay, I'm stressed. Um, I've not been looking after myself. I'm gonna, I'm gonna consciously make an effort to mm-hmm. do something that's self care related. 
But if it's not in the mindset, it will only last a couple of occasions. It will only last a couple of weeks. And then they will go back to their negative toxic patterns, which are self-sabotaging. Yeah. Whereby if you have a full mindset shift and you have the correct mindset, which yeah. is encouraging and a growth mindset, then yeah. self sabotage can be sustainable for the long term. Mm. Yeah, 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 I got you there. <laughs> okay. Do you think that having be having being confident, having this empowered mindset play a positive role as a part of your self-care personally? Oh yeah, that's a great question because I've been working on my own confidence as well. I've been working on my own <laughs> over the years. Learning doesn't <laughs> stop. <laughs> doesn't ever stop. And I, think I, I, I absolutely believe that um, I have been able to set confidence as a, my default, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I like to be a credible person. I like to connect with credible people. So it's not about just talking the talk. It's about walking the talk. Have you actually got the credentials behind what you're saying about yourself? Mm -hmm. uh, and and that, that's what I call authentic confidence because there's a lot mm -hmm. of people out there who say lots of things, but they can't actually back it up. And I like to come, uh, be a person and hold personal value against being authentically confident. So um, I absolutely um, I have used my own personal development and my own confidence to help me to practice self-care. And like you said, and we discussed earlier, it's been progressive. So 10 years ago, I wasn't practicing things like yoga. I wasn't doing meditation, mm -hmm. um, but really I've incorporated those things in my life. Mm -hmm. I've accepted the love that I connect with nature. You know, when I was in my twenties, yeah, I wanted to go partying and I, you know, wanted to have fun yes. and, and be cafes and bars now i would much rather be walking in the in the woods and connecting to, to nature i would much rather be um having organic food than having takeaways which i probably did you know in my 20s in my early 20s when you're like um having food that isn't necessarily nurturing for you i ultimately built more of a spiritual connection um mm -hmm. with the earth and beyond um and i definitely and like I said, with physic physical exercise is something I've always done, but I've definitely extended it in a more um, fulfilling way where I'm not just going for a run or doing a circuits class or I'm also doing things like Pilates and yoga and meditation. Um, mm -hmm. I'm practicing like, things like a prayer, so I'm becoming more spiritually connected. So I would definitely say that my own confidence and my own empowerment as I've grown in a, as a person mm -hmm. has helped me to become more confident and help me to pro progress in my uh, li life of self-care. Another thing I'll just mention quickly that I've done is uh, over the years, I've mm -hmm. actually traveled to different countries and I've done um, yoga retreats. And some of them I've done on my own. I've met completely random people from all over the world. And mm -hmm. once I did an Ayurvedic retreat and mm -hmm. I learned so much about spirituality, about breath work, about yoga, about how to look after yourself uh, properly. Um, and the these things really, really helped me to learn about self-care. So it's about taking yourself out of your comfort zone, doing things you've never done before, doing things that you're afraid of, um, identifying your fears and walking straight into the face of them. And that's how you learn new things of how to do self-care. Also, putting yourself in situations where you're around completely new people because um, when you're around new people, don't be judging people. Mm -hmm. learn from them rather than having a sense of ignorance be open to what people have to bring to the table and learn from them and that definitely has helped me to grow in as a person and has helped me to learn new ways of how to do self-care um and uh, i absolutely love it and like you said there's still so much more to learn and so much more to do. yeah it's amazing journey interesting we're a growth mindset and you know finding this uh empowerment within yourself can bring you and you know open your eyes to lots of things and new adventures that you never even imagined would be there if you don't dive in into this kind of self-care right <laughs> so uh you've got a new course coming out in what way could this course help clients achieve a positive outlook in life? Could you maybe you could share more and you know also invite our guests 
our viewers? So I've actually got two courses that I've I've been working on and I've really released now and they people can find them on my um Instagram profile under the bio links. Yes. So the first course yeah the first course is a, a shorter course and it's um, um it's, it's almost like a mini course and it's to help people with a specific uh, thing called imposter syndrome so this is where people um uh, often self-doubt uh they lack confidence and um, they think that other people are better than them they feel unworthy they're unable to enjoy um the the success of their hard work they feel like they don't deserve it they're often sacrificing their own needs and making compromising decisions to suit others they hold themselves back so um in in co in group conversations they don't take the lead they don't like doing presentations they often copy or pr compare themselves to others they're used to staying small in a comfort zone so this is very specific this course like i said it's called conquering um the imposter syndrome it's a very specific thing that a lot of people suffer and uh, most people suffer it at least one time in their life so this is the mini course um and it's priced slightly uh, uh, you know very it's like a budget almost um and it's very easily accessible if you resonate with any of those things then please do go on and 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 take that course online it's only five modules and it'll give you a lot of skills tools and knowledge to help you to detach from some of those toxic things we spoke about now the the next course is actually the, the main course is the one is, is my signature course um for my empowerment business mm -hmm. and it's uh called it's about it's called sky high confidence straight to your potential mm -hmm. so as i'm coaching which means sky, there's no limit to your confidence because what we believe at sky high is the missing link between you and your potential and your best self is your confidence right mm -hmm. um so regardless of your accomplishments regardless of your achievements um mm -hmm. and all the things you've studied um if you don't have that confidence when 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 it when it matters the most you will mm -hmm. not be able to and go for what you want so this course is going to get you it's like the superpower course to get you to your best self that will help you to show up empowered confident become a leader in your own life live life on your own terms become assertive and resilient and speak up and go for your dreams and i'm just going to quickly go through some of the modules very i'm just going to i'm not going to go into detail sure. very very brief because you can get this information from the bio on my Instagram, like we said. So um, it's about reconnecting with your natural confidence, finding mm -hmm. that confidence, reclaiming that confidence, transforming your self image, showing up as the best version of yourself with power um, in your presence, right? Mm -hmm. Looking at your conscious mind, reprogramming what's going on behind the closed doors in the closet, which is actually controlling you, effectively synchronizing your subconscious with your desired reality, which is when the, your choices will become your reality. Mm -hmm. Conquering your inner critic, what we spoke about, that little voice in your head that tells you you can't or you shouldn't. Um, so aligning you with, again, your wants, needs, desires and goals. So getting rid of that inner critic, which holds so many people back in life. Mm -hmm. um, then we have a developing a growth mindset, which is we've spoken about that a lot in today's interview and managing negative thoughts. So once you've got a growth mindset, you can really start to encompass some of these amazing things in your life um, as a, a reality a, a for the long term with sustainability. So you get the um, advantage to function from that um, mindset, which is the most effective, productive and fulfilling for the type of life that you want. Um, setting personal values and dealing with difficult people, very mm -hmm. important dealing with difficult people in our life how to become fearless like you may look at me and you may think oh you know i'm confident or i'm showing up as fearless there's no barriers there's no limits guess what everybody can have that how to become fearless in your life whereby you can literally go for anything that you want and be invincible in the face of adversity um, the next one is resilience, how to get back up when you are knocked down. This happens in life, not to stay down for too long and come back fighting, lift yourself back up stronger and better than ever. Mm -hmm. Not be 
complicated by your challenges, how to become assertive, again, learning the skills of assertive people, how to adopt them quickly and swiftly so you can become the most powerful person in your own life. Um, I've also got a module in there on a imposter syndrome, which is the same as that mini course that I spoke about. So mm -hmm. I won't mention that. Conquering your limiting beliefs and becoming limitless as an individual. And finally, to love yourself confidently once and for all, showing up with unlimited confidence and attracting the opportunities that will serve you to excel your entire life. So as you can see, there's a lot of amazing things mm -hmm. in this course. And just literally taking this course, you can take it you can do it in 12 weeks so you can do it in three months you can take six months you can take a year however long you take mm -hmm. to do this course is up to you but once you've done this course you will literally change your life dynamics and that's why it's such an amazing course i've put a lot of effort into it and if you will go to co a coach one-to-one -one, they mm -hmm. may charge you something like um two thousand pounds which i don't know it's crazy <laughs> a one-to-one -to, -one to learn all of these things could take you a year on a but if you just take my course at a fraction of that cost mm -hmm. um you can learn all of this in your own time and really really change your life dynamics so that that's my signature program that i'm really excited about and i encourage people to visit uh and have a look at okay that's very nice and i'm sure that uh, lots of you you've already helped lots of people already and i'm sure there would be lots of people who would like to join this course once again so and improve their life and i mean everyone wants that it's part of you know having having a better one <laughs> we only have one life and why not Put it in the best of what we guess you said uh sky high <laughs> right I love it. so yeah amazing it's such a nice blessing as well to be able to help encourage motivate and educate other people as well to see them rise as well uh really it's, it's my passion so thank you very much thank you so much for uh having uh giving time for this interview i'm sure uh you would you a lot of viewers have learned a lot from it and there you have it uh, all the way from the uk nari uh, i hope you all enjoy watching this uh interview and hope to see you soon again bye just before we go shall i tell people where to find me oh yeah, yeah, I... yeah. <laughs> sorry sorry okay Okay, it's fine. No, uh, the best way, best place to find me is a sky high underscore empowerment underscore coach. Uh, I'm sure you'll write it under the um, when yes, you post this video the description. Yes, 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 that's true. Sky high underscore empowerment underscore coach, and I've got my link to in, in the bio to all the courses, how to work with me one to one, also um, um, the link to my sister platform, which is about the leadership and working with corporate clients as well. So please do go have a look, and I look forward to connecting with more people. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Nari. This episode is brought to you by Vitamin Dot SG. It is owned by Sane Hall Nutri Health Private Limited. I can follow Vitamin Dot SG and get free membership worth thirty five dollars using my code MMWAG two zero two one. It is valid until December thirty first two thousand and twenty one only. Now make sure to visit my stories to check out if you want some great giveaways. See you in the next episode! Bye!